Hi, my name is Karen Skidmore. I'm a business growth mentor and coach, and I'm celebrating 18 years of running my own coaching and training businesses. Something that is really important to me, though, is people having a team to support both me and my clients. And right now, I am really, really proud and very, very excited about my team, one of whom I wanted to meet today. Which one am I going to go? That way. I always do it wrong when it does it. There you go. I'm, I'm pointing in the right direction. There you go, Ed. Uh, Ed joined our team as a Grow Strong coach and having Ed on board now has meant that we've been able to increase our capacity and support more people in our Momentum Business Growth Program. So if you're looking for help with your business growth journey, do get in touch. Um, but I thought this is really good, exp a good opportunity. I wanted you to meet Ed um, and uh, come and find out more about him. Ed, hello. Thank hello, you. Hello, Karen. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh. So um, give me a roundup. I, I mean, yeah, tell us, give us some highlights of your experience to date um, and your commercial industrial experience over the last, gosh, 30 plus years now, isn't it? No, 25. Is it 25? 25. Sorry, yes. I'm aging you way too much. Sorry, 25. I mean, I'm I happy say. to sound even more experienced than I am, but not older. <laughs> that's, that's important. So, yeah. <laughs> I suppose there are kind of there are kind of three parts to my to my experience so far. The first part was eight or nine years at Sony, both in the UK and then in Europe, working on all sorts of really, really cool projects connected with the the the, the dawn of the network era. So I was there at Sony in this big Japanese, traditional Japanese electronics company at the point that the internet came along and it tried to figure out how on earth we, are we going to do that so I sat in this really interesting part at the heart of Sony where we tried to pull together our electronics business our music business our films business our games business and see what we could do with those in the middle using the internet so that was superb and just some really really exciting projects many of which were were ahead of their time. Loads of failures, which was really great, really good early mm. learning in my career. You just have to try stuff and getting stuff wrong is is okay. So and I was... imagine very entrepreneurial as well. Big company, but you were, uh, what, there was a fancy phrase for it back then, wasn't it? Intrapreneur, I can't remember, but there was- I a, think that's I'm, right. I'm going back to my, my days of Hayes. Um, but yeah, very entrepreneurial. Um, I, that's exactly right, yeah. yeah. And, and of course, what we had was- very much a kind of startup dot com type of experience, but supported by an enormous Japanese corporation. So we had a degree of say we had a safety net that lots of other organizations at the time didn't have, which was really great. And 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 they were fabulous at, at funding all of these all of these initiatives we were working on. So there was some great stuff around uh, very, very early days of social media um very very early days of of uh of streaming music and music downloads and those kind of things so really kind of on the cusp of some really interesting stuff so it was a wonderful um a wonderful kind of foundation stone for my for my career and of course working for a big company like sony i think starting big often works really well certainly did for me getting a sense of this is how the big guys do it because then I went and moved. Second phase was a really, really tiny little outfit. So uh, a farmer that had gone off and done an MBA and decided he was going to map the local food scene in the UK. And he had this brilliant idea of allowing people, creating a website that allowed people to um, enter their own postcode and see um, a map of their area with all their local food producers um, uh, dotted around on it. And I just that was a real passion project for me. I, 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 I'm I I'm really interested in, in that sort of thing. And and so I came on board and helped him from a kind of marketing perspective, helped to do some really interesting commercial deals with the likes of BBC Good Food and kind of heave the whole thing forward a little bit. So that was great. Spent a couple of years doing that. And then moved into, so it's been a very varied career for me because I then Well, moved this is in. what I love about you, Ed. It's like you've <laughs> got such a, an eclectic, but yeah, it's just, it's just, it's brilliant portfolio of experience. Yeah, well, and this is the kind of upside of their basic mm. having been no plan, right? So this is the negative way of expressing this is what the hell, where have you been going? The good side is I've just been, I've had a very, very varied experience because I then moved into the professional services space and was part of a team that uh, formed a company, very small company at first, where there were just three of us, um, that set out to become the leading providers of information and research to the world's leading management consulting firms, which over the course of the next 14, 15 years, we did. We became consultants to consultants. 
we worked with every single one of the world's biggest 20 management consulting firms from the big strategy firms like McKinsey and Bain, BCG, to the advisory practices of the big four accounting firms, the likes of Deloitte, EY, KPMG, PwC, those kind of guys. And then the big kind of tech tech orientated firms like Accenture and IBM, Capgemini, those kind of people. And we provided them with with strategy advice uh, and with data and with research services, which was a, a fascinating place to be at a time of huge change in the professional services industry. Um, the, the old traditional model of professional services really being challenged. So it was great stuff. And what was interesting for me was not only was that work itself interesting, but actually the work to, to build our own company was was massively interesting. And actually, in, in sort of later years of my time there, and that company was called Source Global Research, um, that's where my focus really was most of the time. Was and your role own... in that organisation was? My role in the organisation was joint managing director. So I worked yeah. alongside one of the co-founders. Um, and her main focus was out into the market, serving our clients. And over time, my main focus became our own company and how we operated, how we grew, what our strategy was and our marketing as well. Um, so really how we took this thing that we created and and, and made it made it bigger. And we, we had huge success doing that. And I I found that journey from, you know, nothing to a sort of 45, 50 person, five million pound business really fascinating i've been and through think, all of the stages yeah and this is this is what i'm so excited with you coming into the team is that um i come from a commercial and coaching background melina comes from a commercial coaching background and you coming in and being able to support our momentum members the experience that you've got both with developing businesses of different sizes but also the the infrastructure developing teams the processes building a business from three up to I mean what size of the business was it when you left in the end when I left it was about 50 people so yeah. so yeah it really so yeah it's so that I mean, I feel very honored that um we've been able to have our paths cross and for you to come and join the team so oh, look um it's been an absolute privilege for you to come and share your career experience um and as I said at the beginning for those of you who are interested if you would like a piece of Ed <laughs> come and have a talk with me uh, Ed is um is hosting our pods and will be working directly with our clients um and has done an amazing um, amazing contribution to the community already so get in touch if you'd like to find out more thanks ever so much thanks everyone